guys, what's going on? All right, so I'm sure most of you have heard what's going on in Alabama, and I would like to say, you know, how this could affect the entire country and why every single person, every single American citizen should support this, no matter your stance on pro-life, pro-choice, it should not matter. And I'm going to explain to you why. Our forefathers had the amazing insight to foresee the federal government becoming tyrannical, meaning becoming all-powerful. And since man is flawed and men are greedy by nature, essentially, well, some are, they put certain things in our Constitution, such as the Tenth Amendment. The Tenth and the Ninth Amendment to say that the states and the people have the rights, okay? Not the federal government. So what you want to do in California or New York or D.C. is on you. I know D.C. is not really a state, but... But what other people want to do in Oklahoma, in Alabama, in Louisiana, is not your business if you don't live there. You don't like it? Move out. I'm not being rude. What you're doing is going down a very slippery slope because what people are trying to do by saying that this is wrong, by saying what one state is doing is wrong, a state that you don't live in, is you are setting yourself up to allow the federal government to make all the decisions for you. And I think we can all agree that they're not very good at that. And they use things like this. They're propping this up right now as an R versus D situation. When in fact, it's absolutely not. There are tons of Ds that are absolutely pro-choice but they want that emotional effect they know that people are going to get emotional i even saw a tweet today that said you're either with us or you're against us and i tweeted back at her i said that's funny because that's the words that bush used right before we uh invaded iraq but um <laughs> seriously this is about states rights this, a, this is a monumental, monumental accomplishment. No matter your views on the said proposed bill, okay, it does not matter. You don't live there. They voted it in. That's how things work. So don't take your California way of life, your New York way of life, and push it on us because I'm not going to push mine on yours. If y'all want to, um, you know, have a sanctuary city and have needles all around your streets and feces and everything else, I know that's probably not the nicest way to put it, but that's kind of what's going on right now. All for it. Knock yourself out. If y'all want to have 17... 30, 60 g different genders in your state, do it. But the states have the power. Technically, the people have overall power. And people forget that. And that's the most important thing. They want us to forget about that. They want us to forget that we actually do have the power. Why? Because then they'll hold all the power which they have been for the last few decades, and hence why we are in the situation that we are in of no one understanding the actual Constitution, Bill of Rights, how things work, and basing everything on emotion rather than logic and facts. I'm not going to force California to um, do away with abortion. 
or New York or DC. If that's what y'all want to do, do it. I'm not going to live there. It's not my business. But in my state or in somebody else's state, it goes for everything. It goes for your Second Amendment. It goes for any other marijuana. Marijuana's not legal here. Should we go boycott y'all's marijuana? Should we? Obviously, most of us aren't because we want it legal too. But that's not the point. Y'all made it legal. And I'm saying y'all like as in I have a lot of California people watching here. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping people, because this has to get out of the echo chamber. It has to, I mean, I understand my normal viewers are going to agree with me. But this is extremely important for every state. For This silly idea of thinking that D.C. is the end-all, be-all, and we're going to have some savior put it in as president is ludicrous. Every year, or every four years, R.D., R.D., and what has changed? Nothing, nothing. That is why you need to focus on your local and state elections. I'm going to be doing a video to show you the shocking election statistics in, in states, how much people don't even pay attention to their local and state elections. And those are the things that you should be paying attention to. D.C. was meant to be an administration. I'm going to go over all that, in, but in a different video, so I can explain it all. But this is an important win for states' rights. And so the people in the Twitter spheres that are saying, let's boycott the entire state. <laughs> stop. You don't live there. Like, stop. If, if that's how you want to run your life, go ahead. And, and people in Alabama, if you don't agree, move out. Move. That, it's as easy as that. That's what's great about having 50 states in a country. Oh, well, their laws are a lot cooler. Hey, you know how many people probably move? I, I mean, I couldn't tell you. There's probably a whole bunch, though. When Colorado passed the marijuana law, how many people moved up there? And then California? I bet tons. I would imagine tons. And so, if you don't like it, you just move out. You don't fight to have D.C. get more power. That's what you're doing. You are trying to push the people I'm not saying you I'm saying the people that are saying that this is unconstitutional no it's absolutely 100% constitutional 100% constitutional okay and now I'm going to show you some amazing footage from some babies at certain weeks of gestation and their heartbeats starting at six weeks. So let's check that out. Like, share, subscribe. Y'all have a wonderful day. And if you would like to support my channel, please do so. That's always very welcome. Have a, Let's take a look at the footage. What? All right. So this baby is only seven weeks and two days from conception, which technically would be considered nine weeks, I believe. It, it's different on how they actually uh, do the numbers. It's two weeks off. If you go from conception, then it's a two-week difference than the actual date, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Look how cute. He's all moving. He's like, what's up? I'm just hanging out. I'm so little, but I'm still a baby. Look how precious. This baby is seven weeks, I believe. Might, maybe eight. Eight weeks pregnant. Oh. Fingers and toes and eyes. 
<laughs> this is so precious. <laughs> you can see all the little legs. And the, skin. the skin is very translucent at this age. So um, that's why you can kind of see through. These are 40 ultrasounds, which are pretty much the highest tech that they have now. I have three kids, and I was lucky enough to work in the emergency room when I was pregnant with my boys and I was able to get an ultrasound at very good intervals you know like uh, I didn't do a lot of them but I found out the gender very very early on a lot earlier than most and so I was able to see okay this one's 12 weeks Oh, so that's the first trimester. These are all first trimesters. Because of how the the 40 is, it kind of blurs things when it's moving. And so the baby doesn't have a blurred face. <laughs> it's just you know, the frame rate of the ultrasound to, you know, you don't want to use like extremely high frequency. So, I mean, this is the safest you can get to be able to see all of this. Aww. He's yawning and stretching. Dancing around. His little bitty hands. <laughs> You can see the umbilical cord right there. Aww. It's like, don't take, okay, stop taking my picture. Stop taking my picture. I'm done. I gotta go sleep. <laughs> so this is a regular 2D ultrasound. This baby is eight weeks, seven weeks, I believe. <laughs> He's just moving all around. They usually have you drink like orange juice or something right before your ultrasound and then the baby's kind of more awake so you'll see like look <laughs> I think this is sped up <laughs> so transvaginal ultrasound is exactly what it's saying you put the probe in and you can see a lot better that way rather than transabdominal is where they put it over the stomach like the normal ones which you would see it's a boy that this is very early 13 weeks I think very early to that's probably about how far along I was whenever I found out because that's about the earliest you can find out and they're just moving around like they normally do. Look, he's trying to suck his thumb. How sweet. <laughs> he's yawning. Oh. See, this, this one's a little bit older. I think this one's 20 weeks. And you can see all the facial expressions a lot better. See how he's trying to suck his thumb right there. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at his little feet. Oh. He's smiling. They're, they're always trying to suck their thumb. It's so cute. You can see the stomach. I mean, everything is very formed. It's a baby. Surprise, it's a baby. Not a clump of cells. It's a baby. <laughs> 
for anybody that was confused. This is so awesome that they can see all this now. Oh, look, you can see the eyes and the mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the little feet. <laughs> Moving all around. This is very, very early. I would say eight weeks. Maybe nine. <sighs> oh. And so the brain obviously in the head forms first and that's why it's always bigger. And right here, this is five see, weeks. Faint little flicker. Can you see that? And flicker? you're going to be able to see the heartbeat already. That's the heart. Now, it is, I mean, this is so early that if you had come in yesterday, we wouldn't see it. And if you came in in three or four days, we'd see it clearer. You know what I mean? It's just, I mean, it's literally you have just to now just getting to the point. It's kind of close. It. But it's good. Cool. <clears throat> and so you'll be able and to see it moving. It's like five weeks, five days. So it's just literally right at the threshold. Let's see. About, so they're they're measuring. I mean this this is pretty much like when you find out you're pregnant. That's about how far along this one is. Move and get it to point two oh it goes five weeks five days. So literally it is that looks good. Oh thank God. So five weeks and five days. Yeah I don't I'll I'll get it on there where you can see it. I don't know. So almost six weeks. And this one is an abdominal one. If they would have done a transvaginal one, they would have been able to see it a lot better. But you'll see right here, the pumping action, that's the heartbeat. Oh my gosh, she is so excited. This lady, I believe, had mm -hmm. IVF. She had trouble yeah. getting pregnant. Let me try it again. And so she is, you can hear how excited she is. She's crying. Pretty cool. Awesome. So these are some of the 3D, 4D, HD scans they have. So 11 weeks, 10 weeks, oh, this one is 22 weeks, 24 weeks, no, 34 weeks. Oh, look how it's the same. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all share this. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Such precious babies. <laughs> oh, and here's some twins coming right up. At 11 weeks. Bye, guys.